An estimated 30 to 50% of the world's population is infected with the parasite Toxoplasma gondii. Toxoplasma gondii can be life-threatening for people with suppressed immune systems. If women contract an infection for the first time while pregnant, they can pass it to their unborn children. Most people know Toxo as the disease you can get from changing a cat's litter. It is transmitted by accidentally ingesting cat feces that contain the parasite. Toxo can affect the brain, even influencing the behavior of its hosts. But scientists have debated exactly how the parasite crosses the blood-brain barrier. To figure this out, researchers from Penn's School of Veterinary Medicine used a powerful imaging technique called multi-photon microscopy. This technology enabled the scientists to look at parasites moving inside the brain of living mice in real time. Researchers used mice that had been specially bred to express a fluorescent green protein on the cells that line blood vessels. These cells are known as endothelial cells. The mice were then exposed to toxoparasites marked with a red fluorescent protein. After a week, Penn researchers saw endothelial cells in the brain that were infected with toxo, as well as evidence that the parasite was reproducing inside those cells. After two weeks, parasites appeared in the brain tissue next to the endothelial cells. The researchers also observed that the endothelial cells appeared to burst after being infected by the parasite, thereby allowing the parasite into the brain where it may infect neighboring cells. Beyond the implications for toxoplasma infections, the research may give insights into how other pathogens may move from the blood into the brain, including the rabies virus, species of plasmodium that cause malaria, and perhaps even the Zika virus, an emerging threat to global health.